say that it feels right What's up guys, my name is Case. Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video. What we're going to be teaching you guys today is how to earn the Underworld Camo fast and easy. So let's get straight into it. Now if you guys are unfamiliar with the Underworld Camo, basically it's a brand new camo that they added into Call of Duty Black Ops 3. You have to get 200 wins with a specialist weapon like the War Machine, the Purifier, and such. Now you're probably wondering, how do you get it fast? Like, what's the best weapon to use? What's the best specialist to go with? And I'm going to tell you guys, for every map, every situation, what you should do. One specialist that you guys should not use is the gravity spikes. You're only going to get maybe max four kills at one time with the gravity spikes. And I don't think that's a good thing. You can get a lot more kills with the purifier or something like that than the gravity spikes since you can only use it at one area. A good specialist for a long range map such as probably fringe or something like that would be sparrow you can go across the map with the sparrow it's the bow if you guys are unfamiliar with it you can shoot from building to building with the sparrow it's got really good range so if you're on a big range map go with the sparrow trust me it's gonna be really good the next one is the tempest you can use the tempest long to medium range maps maybe not short range maps just because the tempest you know you want to pre-aim people so i would go for long re medium range maps the tempest is definitely a good weapon because it's very strong and powerful so i would definitely use the tempest as a good weapon now the next one is for the close quarter maps if you're playing the chaos mosh pit the war machine the best thing to use in the chaos mosh pit are just really close quarter maps and another easy way is you can play hardcore and get one shot kills or one hit kills very easily so you don't use your war machine bullets and i think it's a really good um you know specialist to use when you're on nuketown or you're on the small maps definitely go with the war machine it would do magic for you guys trust on the small maps you're going to be close up just shoot the war machine at the ground easy kills now the next one is definitely for the small to medium range maps and that's the annihilator now the annihilator also has really good range and it can definitely be used in the medium range maps and the small range maps because it's good range and it's very powerful so if you like the annihilator and that's your favorite specialist use it because you can use that small to medium range and you can use it on nuketown chaos mosh pit stuff like like that now I'm going down the list here so I wouldn't really prefer the hive I mean you guys can go for it but sometimes it's really easy to spot and just shoot down and you know not get it people I mean if you want to I would if and maybe in hardcore you know put it at a corner or something where people aren't looking they're just running and you kill them maybe a group of people like that but in my opinion the hive isn't really that good of a specialist so I really wouldn't use it now the next one is the scythe and this one varies from long to medium range you can also use a close range but long to medium range is probably the best for the scythe if you guys aren't sure it's a minigun basically and it's really powerful so if you go into hardcore and you use the scythe it'd be really really good there's also the ripper that you're gonna want to go on small maps if you guys are gonna use that it's for a good amount of time it's a knife if you guys aren't sure it's like a really fast knife basically and you can go on small maps with that i think it'd be really good because the ripper is actually a really good specialist so if you're on a small map like nuketown or even combine where you can play stealthy definitely definitely go with the ripper Last but not least, we have the Purifier. Now, the Purifier is actually good for every situation. Not much long range, but medium to small range, amazing. You can just go up to them, spray with your Purifier, like, everywhere, and you can get a max, like, five to six kills at once. It's a really, really good, you know, weapon, in my opinion. You just spray with them, and they'll eventually die. If you hit them, like, two or three times with the flames, like, just spray over them, they'll eventually die from the Purifier fire, so that's pretty good. Those are all all the specialists you guys can choose what you like the most what's your play style if you like to play long range medium range or small range go for it in my opinion the best two specialists to use the war machine and the scythe basically the minigun and the war machine like nothing to explain it those are probably the best two ones to use if you guys want to go ahead and use them let me know down in the comments what you guys are using for this uh, once again you got to get 200 kills with your specialist weapon so make sure you play some pubs and maybe go into hardcore if you're using the scythe get those one shot kills easy like that 
But yeah, once again, let me know down in the comments which specialist you guys are going to be using. I'm definitely going to be using the War Machine just because I think it's really good. Just like spray and paint with the War Machine on a small map into corners, spray at the ground. You'll definitely get a good amount of kills or go into their spawn even. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it helped you in any sort of way, comment it down below in the comment section. I really want to know from you guys. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have yourself a great day. Let me know if you guys have the cam already as well. You've been the K's crew, and I've been K's. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.